section 31.3. So for today's video, we're going to learn how to add similar and dissimilar functions. So first, we're going to identify first what are the similar and dissimilar functions. So for example, we have here, uh, we have here number one. So uh, as we observe, um, and the unmatted na sa, sa fraction, um, similar or uh, the similar fractions kapag magkaiba ang denominator kapag magkaiba ang denominator ibig sabihin yan ay the similar fractions kagaya nitong number 1 so we have 2 15 or uh, 2 over 15 and 3 fifths so magkaiba sila na uh, denominator so by the way fraction is a rational consists of numerator and denominator so uh, again kapag Ang um, halimbawa ito, so magkaiba sila ng denominator, ibig sabihin yung similar fraction na tandaan natin. So, halimbawa, itong number 2, ito, so as we observe, magkapareha sila ng denominator. So, ibig sabihin, uh, this fraction is considered uh, similar fraction kasi pareha sila ng denominator. Yun lang naman natandaan natin. Kapag similar, ibig sabihin parehas sa denominator, kagaya nitong number 2. Kapag dissimilar, magkaiba sila ng denominator. Okay. okay, so add the following fractions. So number one, we have, uh, as we observe, okay, diba? As we observe, pa pareha sila ng denominator. Ibig sabihin, ang fraction na ito, ang fractions na ito ay consider as correct, similar fractions. Kasi pareha sila ng denominator. So how do we add similar fractions? Napakadali lang mag-add ng similar fractions. Ang gagawin lang natin ay, um, I-copy natin yung denominator. I-copy the denominator and simply add the numerators. Uh, we have 3 plus 4 is equal to okay, 7. Therefore, the answer would be 7 over 10. Okay, the second one. Example, so 6 over 12 plus 4 over 12. So, 6, uh, 6 over 12 plus 4 over 12, uh, 4 over 12 is equal to, okay, again, pare sila ng denominator. So, just simply copy the denominator and then add the numerators. So, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So, tanda na 10, uh, we should all consider the answer. Uh, dapat, hindi siya, uh, I mean, nasa lowest term na siya. So, as you observe, ang um, Hindi pa itong final na answer natin kasi um, ang numerator, ang both uh, numerator and denominator ay meron pang number na pwede divide sa kanila. In short, pwede pa siyang ma-reduce ma into lowest term. So, anong pwede natin divide sa kanila? Okay, exactly. So, 2, di ba? So, divide natin ng 2 para ma-reduce to lowest term. So, 10 divided by 2, we have 5 and then 10 divided by uh, 12 divided by 2 equal to Okay, 6. Therefore, the answer would be 5 over 6. Yan ang final na answer. Okay, so next, third example, add 2 plus 15 and 3 fifth. Or 2 over 15 plus 3 fifth. So, as we observe, um, kung mapapansin natin, magkaiba ang denominator. Okay, therefore, ang fractions ay the similar fractions. So, how do we add the similar fractions. So, paano, natin, paano tayo mag-add ng magkaiba ang denominator or the similar fractions? So, ang first na gagawin natin, maghanapin natin ng LCD ng dalawa. Okay, maghanap tayo ng number na pwede ma-divide sa kanila ng 15 at, at saka 5. Pero, uh, pwede rin natin gamitin ng LCM or least common multiple. So, anong gagawin natin? Uh, hanapin natin ng multiple ng 15 pati ng 5 na pareha sila. Okay? Kaya nga, common, uh, least common, common multiple. Ibig sabihin yung pareha sa kanila. So, kunin natin ng 5, pati ng 15. Okay? Kunin natin ang multiple nila. 5, so tayo ng 5. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 5, 25. Okay? Assuming dyan lang muna tayo. Next one, 15. 15. Okay? 15 plus 15. 30. 30 plus 15, 45. Tama? Okay. Kung mapapansin natin, meron ba sa kayo ng parehas? 
Okay, exactly meron. Pareha sila. We have 15 tsaka 15, di ba? Ang hanapin natin, kasi natin ay least common value yung pinakamaliit. Kaya, therefore, ito ang kukunin natin na denominator. So, 15 ang magiging denominator natin. And then, 15 divided by 3. And 15 is 1. So, times 2, 2. Tama? 2. Next, 15 divided by 5, 3. Times uh, 3, 9. Okay? So, plus 9. So, to uh, copy the denominator, 15, 2 plus 9, 11. Okay? So, therefore, uh, the answer would be 11 over 15. Okay, so next example, uh, add 2 fifth plus or and 3 over 9 or 2 over 5 plus 3 over 9. So uh, again, as we observe, they are correct, the similar fractions kasi magkaiba sila ng denominator. So again, ang gagawin natin, kunin natin ang LCD or ang napin ng LCD. Find the LCD or the least common multiple. So kunin natin ng 5 and then yung 9. Okay? Then, okay, kagaya yung ginawa natin, 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 5, 25 plus 5, 30 plus 5, 35 plus 5, 40 plus 5, 45. Okay, assuming dyan mo na, next, 9, 9 plus 9, 18 plus 9, 27. Plus 9, 36, plus 9, 45. Okay, so as we observe, meron na tayong uh, common. Ano yan? 45. Tama? Kasi dito wala na kapalas dyan. So, 45. Therefore, yan ang magiging uh, denominator natin. Okay? So, 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9 times 2, 18. So, ganun na. Next. So, plus 45 divided by 9, 5 plus 3, 15. Okay, 15. Next, just simply add na lang yung sa numerator. So, 18 plus 15, okay, would be 33. Then, copy that, denominator. So, ibig sabihin ito, ito yung sagot. Therefore, the answer would be 33 over 45. So, nasa lawis yung siya. Okay. Okay, so next example, um, two third plus one fifth. Ayan, so again, as you observe, the fraction, okay, are the similar. Kasi magkaiba sila ng uh, denominators. So, paano naman gagawin natin? Again, find the LCD or the least common multiple. So, kunin natin si 3, so si 5, hanapin natin mga uh, multiple ng mga numbers na yan. So, 3. Okay, 3 plus 3. We have 6 plus 3. Okay, 9 plus 3. 12 plus 3. 15 plus 3. 18. Okay. Assuming, dyan muna tayo. Next. Um, 5. 5 plus 5. 10 plus 5. 15 plus 5. 20. So, ano na-observe nyo? Meron lang parehas na number. So, we have 15 and 15. So, the denominator um, should be 15. Okay? So, kunin natin sa 15. Uh, so, divide naman natin siya. So, 15 divided by 5, or uh, 3. Okay. 5 times 2, 10. So, ganun lang. Then, plus, next, 15 divided by 5, 3 times 1. By the way, times 1 sa, multi sa, sa numerator, ha? So, again, 15 divided by 5, 3 times 1, okay, 3, okay, then 10 plus 3, 13 over 15, so therefore, the answer would be 13 over 15, so hindi na siya malawis through, okay, okay, next, the last one, we have 6 over 18 plus 3 over 6, okay, as you observe, the fractions, Okay, the similar fractions. So, ano gagawin natin? Hanapin naman natin ang LCD or the LCM. Okay? Kasi hindi natin alam. 
Okay, um, 18 or 6, then 18. Happy natin ang least common multiple. Okay, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, plus 6, 18, plus 6, 24, plus 6, 30, plus 6, 36. So, mas na mahaba. Assuming dyan na muna. So, 18. Okay, 18 plus 18, 36. So, meron akong magkaparehas. Okay, tama. As, you, as we observe, 18 pati 36 parehas sila, tama? Okay, pero ang kukunin natin is least common multiple. Kung ano yung pinakamababa. Ibig sabihin, 18 na kukunin natin. Therefore, 18 na kanyang denominator. Okay? So, 18 divided by 18. Okay, 1 times 6. 6. Okay, 6 rin. Next, 18 divided by 3. Ay, 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. Times 3, 9. Okay? 8 plus 9. Okay, tama? Okay, then, 6 plus 9, 15. Then, copy that, denom denominator. So, the answer is, uh, therefore, the answer is 15 over 18. So, anong mapapansin natin? Yan na bang sagot? Okay, so hindi pa yan yung sagot. Bakit? Pwede pa siyang ma-reduce into lowest term. So, kailangan kasi nasa lowest term ang uh, sagot natin. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi na siya ma-reduce. So, reduce natin siya. So, anong pwede natin divide ng number? Okay, exactly. That's, okay, that's 3. Okay, divide natin ng 3. Okay. So, 15 divided by 3. Okay, 15 divided by 3 is? Okay, 5. Then, 15 divided by 3, 6. Okay. Final answer. Therefore, the final answer uh, would be 5 over 6. Okay, so next, uh, we have 1 over 3 plus 1, uh, 1 half. So, normally, um, um, fractions kasi, in adding fraction or subtracting fractions, um, um, pwede natin gamitin yung short method kaya ng uh, butterfly method. Uh, pero, um, applicable lang siya or pwede, pwede siya gamitin sa mga maliliit lang ng numbers. Okay? So, pwede gumamit ng butterfly method sa pag-add or maybe pag-subtract ng fractions. Uh, parehas lang ang sagot. Kaya sa maganap pa ng LCD or LCM. So, paano ba magawa or paano ba mag uh, mag butterfly method? So, kunin natin yung 1 third plus 1 half. So, kagaya nito, di ba? Maliit lang yung number. So, the similar fraction. Pagkaiba sila ng denominator. So, paano ba mag butterfly? Gagawin natin, hulman natin siya na butterfly. So, tingnan natin. Ayan, assuming perfect butterfly siya. Di ba? Ayan, di ba? Meron siyang ganyan, then meron siyang ganyan. Di ba? Ganyan mga butterfly? Okay. So, itong, yan, yan ang i-multiply natin. So, 3 times 1, ilalagyan natin yung sagot doon. Okay? Multiply natin. 3 times 1, okay, 3. Then, ito naman sa kabila. 2 times 1, okay, 2. So, ano nga na niya? Uh, operation, addition. Okay. Then, itong sa baba niya, 3 times 2, okay, 6. Okay. Then, ililipat na natin siya. Okay? Order na natin siya ilipat. So, ano, ano natin? We have 2 plus 3. Diba yan? 2 plus 3. Then, yung denominator yun sa baba. Yan. So, 2 plus 3. Okay, 5. Then, kapigal na natin ito. So, yan ang sagot 5 over 6. Okay, so, try natin sa LCM. Okay, anong denominator niya? We have... 3 or 2, pati 3. Okay, 2, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6. Next, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. So, meron na tayong denominator. So, ibig sabihin, uh, meron tayong 6 na denominator. So, 6 divided by 3, okay, 2. Times 1, 2. Okay, next. 6 divided by 2, okay, 3. Times 1, 3. So, plus 3. Okay. 
Okay, just simply add 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then, kapidali namin yung tapos. So, once you turn, parehas na isa. So, you can use the butterfly method. 